Welcome to the Week in Review for Module 7. Here we are, Module 7. Only one more to go, guys, and hang in there. Uh, definitely, uh, the uh, you're over the hump of the course, the big uh, the big written paper done, and now this week uh, with, uh, with your presentation, um, hopefully shouldn't be too bad, but really we're coming down on the downside of the course. Uh, module 7 and Module 8 should be a lot easier. So, all right, and I know many of you are also taking other courses this summer, so hopefully with the overlap, the, uh, the kind of these two lesser modules help. All right, so let's talk a little bit about what we're doing uh, in Module 7. But before I do, I want to let you know that we are caught up, or I'm caught up on grading all the way through Module 6. If you do see anything that... Um, any items that are missing. Let's see, what is today? Today is Tuesday. We just completed Module 6. There are a couple extra grades I need to input, but those should be done by about um, 4 o'clock this afternoon. So all the grading through Module 6 should be done by 4. All the grading through Module 5 is done. Now what I like to do, if there's a missing assignment, one that I can't find in the Dropbox, um, I usually put a one, just a single point in that grade item. So if you see any single points item in, in there, it doesn't mean you got a one, just for my way to call your attention to it and uh, send me an email, let me know. Maybe you, uh, in one case, I know someone had emailed me uh, an assignment versus a Dropbox, uh, which is which was fine in this case. I just didn't remember where it was at. So um, take a look at that. Take a look at your grades. Make sure we're all up to speed. And if you have any questions, you know, to, to get in touch with me. All right, so that kind of concludes talking about everything in uh, Modules 5, which we have completely all graded. Module 6, a few of you will be done uh, by this uh, afternoon, so we should be all caught up with 6. So you're going into 7 with absolutely uh, everything up to date and kind of calculate your grade and know where you're at. And for those of you who have been taking advantage, <clears throat> excuse me, of the bonus points, uh, I've been tracking those as well. And for those of you that like bonus points, What's he even talking about? It tells me you're not watching the video lectures, which is your choice if you want to watch the video lectures or not. Some of them do contain bonus points opportunities. Some don't. Um, the, the end up to you. I think you could do very well in the course by just reading the textbook. Uh, the video lectures are really to supplement the textbook, kind of highlight different parts of it. So, um, so there you go. But know that your uh, your points, your bonus points, are uh, I do track them in a separate file. And uh, if necessary, then I go back and look and see if you need those bonus points to bring you to the next letter grade. Uh, if you've already earned an A, there is no A plus at Mercy College. So, but again, keep on with those bonus points. They're they're definitely are a, a um, easy item. They're not in every lecture though, so they're kind of sporadically. Uh, put uh, throughout the course. All right, so that's uh, a little bit on the grading. Let's talk about this uh, this week. Um, and in Module 7, we'll just get my image off here completely. Again, looking at public health and research. So that should be, I think, a, a very interesting topic. And we have our readings, oops, our readings and presentations uh, as normal, our weekly assignment, our Module 7 discussion. Um, a quiz uh, also in there as well. Everybody's doing really well on the quizzes, so good job on that. Remember, if there are any essay components within the quizzes that um, I have to go in and grade those by hand, so give me a, a little bit of time in there. I think we're done with... Uh, we should be done almost with all the essays, though. Maybe not all, but getting close to it. Um, and then also what I do, just as food for thought... I know there were some questions about Module 6. I'm going back and looking at that quiz. If there is any quizzes that you have and more than 50% of the class misses that uh, question, I do toss that question out and we'll add those points back. So, And I'll let you know through the course news or through a week in review if we've had any adjustments to any quizzes. So far, knock on wood, if I can find it. Uh, we haven't had any adjustments, but there was maybe some questionable questions in number six, so I'll double check that. Uh, I know a couple or one student brought had some questions about that. Um, all right, so this week the big thing, the final thing, is the project four uh, is due. This is going to be your present me. 
Again, everybody's doing really good with the technology uh, behind Present Me, and many of you have already had that, so Present Me, so that really helps, um, versus Move Note. Now, as I talked a little bit about in the previous week in review uh, for Module 6, that we was gonna, I was going to change up this uh, Present Me in here, and, I, and none of you contacted me, so I don't think any of you have started any work or, or significant work on this where it was kind of the older format. I think this format will help us uh, a little bit better um, because in reading your papers, you guys really had some cool uh, and relevant content that I think um, the, the entire course would like to hear. And I think this format will kind of highlight that content a little bit better. And especially in the limited time that you have for these presentations, uh, we'll highlight it quicker. So what you have to do for your uh, Present Me uh, presentation is you're going to have a presentation that will be five to seven minutes, uh, so stick within that zone. Um, you're going to, um, up to you and how you want to organize your slides, but you'll have some general areas that you'll have to address. So the first one is, um, well, always introduce yourself. So make sure you, I didn't put that in there, but I should go without saying, so always introduce yourself. Uh, but you, you'll want to um, address your topic and its importance to the healthcare delivery in the United States. Again, that kind of goes back to these, the assignment that you already did. So you're just going to kind of um, bullet point that information and, and uh, present that back to us. Now remember, please do not read. You do not want to, we don't want to have you read uh, this stuff. Try to um, present it as if you were talking in front of a, in front of a, the board is actually kind of what we're trying to do here is you're presenting in front of the board for the best hospital system. So, um, you know, try not just to be reading that narrative. Now what I do, again, a little trick sometimes is I'll put little post-it notes around my camera. You guys can't see, but it kind of keeps me on track usually uh, for the topics that I'm talking about. So you could definitely have little uh, post-it notes or cue cards or something uh, kind of around your camera if that helps you kind of uh, keep track as you're talking and trying to have that camera, you know, eye contact as much as possible with, um, you know, with the, with the camera, which is your audience. And that's what you would do in real life is you would have eye contact with your audience. I do recognize that you have to look down occasionally to advance slides and, and do things on your keyboard, but, um, but keep that in mind. All right. So you're going to have your, uh, your topic. You're going to kind of talk about the, its, its importance, uh, to the healthcare delivery of the United States. Then what I'd like you to do is a very small summary of each of the articles from your literature review. And if you remember that literature review required that you had at least seven of those. So um, you can, again, form it however you want in the confines and the constraints of five to seven minutes. So you may want to have two to three bullet points on each article. You know, if you had seven uh, articles. Now, some of you had a lot of articles that had central themes that were kind of repetitive. So again, kind of organize it how you how you want. But um, we want a general summary of each article uh, from your literature review. Um, if you want to jump, I guess, lump those into categories. If you found like three articles that are all very very similar, uh, then that's fine. I guess you could lump that together. But again, kind of give us the very brief. Uh, here, you know, the, the, the essential elements that you learned from that topic. Then also uh, present at least one of those charts and graphs that you just made. Um, pick the one that you think is the best. I know some of you kind of struggled with, with doing all, all of them, but uh, it, so that you don't necessarily have to present each one, which we, in the older version of this assignment, we had people do. Um, pick the one that you think is most relevant. Again, time is of the essence, just as it would be in any meeting or any boardroom meeting. Um, you know, use that chart or graph uh, that you think is uh, best reflective or, um, again, you think the board would want to know the most from kind of coalescing all of your information together. And that is pretty much it. Remember to be uh, professional and um, you know, you want to be polished and, and try to seem organized, uh, at least at least to the camera and to what we see. Um, so make sure that you're, you know, you want to have at least a um, business casual dress on, uh, no t-shirts, no, uh, no graphic tees. Um, you know, again, uh, you don't have to be fully business professional, but I would say uh, at least business casual uh, for the presentation. Um, so to kind of keep keep that in mind, because you're recording this uh, presentation to be delivered, basically the, the 
the um, the simulation here is you're recording this presentation because you can't be here for the presentation uh, for the board and uh, it's being kind of delivered uh, to them remotely so keep that in mind um, and then next week in module 8 that's when you're going to be able to view each other's uh, presentations and then Paul and uh, do some peer review uh, on those so again you want to make sure they're good because not only am I going to see them but the rest of the class is going to be taking a look at them too. All right, so that uh, pretty much concludes the weekend review for Module 7. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, make sure you text me. Best way to get a hold of me is through text message. If you text me around 8 or 9, I'm usually kind of busy with the kids at that point and won't get to your text until the next morning. But um, and sometimes if I'm away for the day, uh, on the weekends, um, you may have a little bit longer delay on that, um, but usually in general I can get to your text within a matter of minutes to hours versus uh, email or uh, the virtual office. So please uh, do text me. You can find my text information, of course, is located in the course news, and you can find that by accessing all news items by scrolling all the way down in the course and clicking uh, all news items to find my cell phone number. All right, well, that concludes this week in review for Module 7. And as always, thanks for watching.